Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and we are developing an e-commerce project using Laravel 10 and in previous video you have already seen how I implemented to send an email on order place and also how I worked on success page to make it dynamic. Now today in this video I am going to show you how to work on my orders page. Okay, so let's start. So here this is my project inside VS code and here I already started Laravel 10 dev server and npm run dev let me close this terminal if i go to here and in nav bar you can see if i hover hover here then you can see a drop down menu is uh, showing and here you can see my orders link if i click this link then nothing is happening so we have to make this working first so let me go to project and open resources directory views directory then sorry then live wire directory then partial then navbar.blade.php file here we have to find the my orders uh, navigation item so this is the my orders navigation item here in href i will write uh, slash my hyphen orders and i will also use wire navigate just save this and go to the browser now if i reload the page and then hover here and click on my orders then you can see we are redirecting to this my orders page which is static for now so we will make this dynamic we will fetch all the orders of this currently logged in user and display here okay so let's start so let's close this file and uh, let me first open the my order page.php file so this is the class component file of my orders page okay so here what i will do is i will first give this a title so i will use title attribute class just import this class and then inside this render method i will uh, okay so here uh, what i will do is i will create a variable my orders my orders is equal to and here i will use order model and then I will use where condition and then I uh, I will use uh, user ID and then using this auth and ID method we will get the current logged in user ID okay and instead of this get I will use latest and I will also use pagination so here I will use paginate and for now here I will use uh, two okay I will change it later now if we are using pagination then we have to use a trait here so just use use with pagination okay make sure to import this class like here okay and now we will send my orders in blade view file okay so instead of my orders I will just keep it orders and then my orders okay now let's open the blade view file of my orders page so go to resources views live wire and uh, this is my orders uh, my orders page dot blade dot page file okay so here you can see uh, all is here and you can see there are some tr which is static and displaying here okay so we will remove all the tr except one okay so remove all tr now uh, i will cut this tr and i will use for each loop okay so here i will use for each and here i will write orders as order and i will paste this tr now in this tr what i will do is i will use a wire key and here i will use order arrow id okay and this is the order id so here i will just display order id and this is the order date so here i will use order created at and then i will format the date into dm y here we will display the order status okay 
so here i will just write order and then status here i will display the order payment status so just write order and then payment status here i will display the grand total of the order so just remove this static value and here i will use number class then i will use currency class uh, sorry currency method and then i will use order grand total and i will use inr and here in view detail button i will use slash my hyphen orders slash and then i will use order arrow id okay if i save this and go to the browser then you can see there are two rows showing which is not dynamic okay let's uh, display the pagination okay so i will display the pagination here so here i will write orders and then links if i save this and then reload then you can see we uh, the pagination is showing and if i click on next then we are going to page two page three and we can go back to page two page one okay so if i go to my orders page dot page file then here now i will use five so here you can see five uh, orders are now displaying because for this uh, user there are only five uh, records five orders is available in database that's why pagination is not displaying if the record uh, will be more than five then the pagination will display okay now next what i will do is i will change these uh, badge colors so for new i will display some um, other color for processing i will display blue uh, color for uh, delivered i will display green color similarly for payment status for paid i will display um, green for pending display blue and for uh, filled i will display red background color okay so how to do this let me go to the blade view file and uh, here inside this for each uh, i will use php directive here laravel php directive and inside this i will create status is equal to i will create a variable status is equal to empty and then i will check a condition if uh, and then i will use order if order status is equal equal to new okay so if order status is equal equal to new then in this case i will use status here status is equal to and then here you can see here i am displaying the order status and this is a span tag so i will cut this span tag okay so i will cut this span tag and paste here paste here now instead of this i will remove this here remove this and just write new and for color let me close the statement and for a new i will use blue blue 500 okay save this and here i will use uh, okay so i will use this and then i will write status okay so for this i will display a uh, blue color for new okay if i reload then you can see all the new status a uh, background color uh has been changed for this batch okay so all the orders have same order status new 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 so we have let's uh, first change the order status so here you can see i have already logged into the admin panel if i go to orders then you can see uh this here you can see all the orders so let me change the order status to processing for this and uh, for shipped to this and uh, delivered to this and uh, cancelled to this okay now if i reload sorry if i reload then you can see only new is showing for this uh, order okay so let's let's uh, use this for all the status so for processing uh, i write processing here and then 
I will change the color to yellow for processing and I will also copy this and paste here just make this capital and uh, copy and paste again for this time I will check for shift so just write shift and uh, then I will change this to green I will copy and paste here and just make this as capital now paste again sorry copy and paste this time here I will use daily bird delivered and uh, here I will use green but I will change the darkness to 700 and just copy delivered paste here just make this D capital one last is cancelled so copy and just write cancelled and uh, just change this to cancel and uh, change the green color to red okay it's all done now if I reload then you can see this order is showing cancelled this is delivered shipped processing so all the order status has different uh, background color okay uh, let me make this 500 okay now now all is displaying properly now for payment status let me go to admin panel and uh, let me open this so i will make this payment status paid uh paid and let's click on save changes okay and uh, then let's open another order so one is pending one is paid let me make one field okay so click on edit and uh, then click on field okay and click on save changes now if i go to here and reload then you can see all have same color so we'll differentiate similarly like this status order status so here i will declare one more variable like payment underscore status is equal to empty and here you can see this is order payment status and this is wrapped inside a span tag so i will cut this span from here and similarly i will use this payment status payment payment status save this and now here uh, what i will do is i will sorry i will use a condition if order payment status is equal equal to uh, pending if order status is equal equal to pending then in this case i will use payment underscore status is equal to and uh, then i'll paste the span tag here for pending i will use uh, blue color so i will write blue here and uh, i will also change this uh, text to a uh, pending pending now copy the same thing so next one is for paid so here i will write paid and change this color to green green and here i will keep this 600 and just change to paid okay and similarly copy the same thing and here just write field red and here field now if i save this and go to the browser sorry then uh, you can see all the pendings have blue color all the paids have a uh, green color and failed have red color so all is showing proper now if i click on view detail on any of the orders here then we are redirecting to the uh, my order detailed page and uh, this is also static for now so i will make this dynamic in next video so thanks for watching this video if you like this video then hit on like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel